In this video, we're going to look at how to convert recurring decimals to fractions. In particular, the examples we're going to be working through are the ones where the repeating digits starts directly after the decimal point. For our first example, we're going to convert 0 0.2 repeater to a fraction. 0 0.2 repeater is the same as 0 0.2222 and so on and so on. We're going to start by saying let x equal to 0 0.2222. Our aim is to eliminate all the digits after the decimal point. We do that by multiplying both sides by 10. On the left, we get 10x and on the right, we get 2.2222. Remember, when we multiply a decimal by 10, all we need to do is simply move the decimal point one place to the right. We call the first equation 1, the second equation 2, and we say equation 2 take away equation 1 so that we get 10x minus x, which is equal to 9x. And on the right hand side, this is equal to 2.222 minus 0 0.222. Now, if we line this up, what this looks like is, and we see that if all the digits after the decimal point lines up, they're going to cancel each other out so that we're left with simply just 2.0. So now we have got 9x is equal to 2, then dividing both sides by 9, we get x is equal to 2 over 9. But since we started off by defining x as being equal to 0 0.2 repeater, this means that x, which is equal to 0 0.2 repeater, can be written as 2 9 as a fraction. Our next example, we've got 0 0.63 repeater. 0 0.63 with the dots on top of the 6 and the 3 simply means that both these digits 6 and 3 keep on repeating. Starting off the same way, we're going to let x equal to 0 0.63636363 and so on. Instead of multiplying x by 10, like the first question, this time we're going to multiply x by 100. So we have 100x is equal to, remember multiplying by 100 simply means that we move the decimal point two places to the right. So we're going to get 63.63636363. Calling it equations one and two, we're going to subtract from equation two, equation one. So this is going to be 100x take away x, which is going to equal to 99x. And on the right hand side, we've got 63.636363. Take away 0 0.636363. And if we line this up as a column subtraction, what we observe is that all the digits after the decimal point line up exactly. And we require this. It can't be 3, 6 and 6, 3, it's got to be exactly identical so that we're then able to cancel out all the digits after the decimal point. So this will lead us to 99x is equal to 63. We then divide both sides by 99 and this will simplify to x is equal to 21 over 33, which simplifies further to 7 over 11. And again, since we define x as being equal to 0 0.63 repeater, this means that the recurring decimal 0 0.63 repeater is equal to 7 over 11 as a fraction. Our last example, we're going to convert 0 0.762 repeater to a fraction. When we have got the dots on top of the 7 and 2, it doesn't mean that only the digits 7 and 2 gets repeated. In fact, anything in between gets repeated as well. So this is the same as 0 0.762, 762, 762, so on and so on. Starting off the same way, let x equal to 0 0.762, 762, 762. This time we're going to multiply x by 1000 so that we've got 1000x is equal to, remember, multiplying by 1000 is the same as moving the decimal point three places to the right. So we have 
762, 762. Calling it equations 1 and 2, then from equation 2, we're going to subtract equation 1. So that we have 1000x take away x is equal to 999x is equal to 762.762762 762 repeater minus 0 0.762762 so on and so on. Setting this up as a column subtraction, we can see that we're able to make sure that all the digits after the decimal point line up exactly. And when this happens, it means that we can cancel them out, giving us 762. So now we can write 999x is equal to 762, dividing both sides by 999. This means x is equal to 762 over 999. And simplifying this by dividing top and bottom by 3, this will then give us 254 over 333. Since we started off by defining x as being equal to this recurring decimal, we can now conclude that x, which is equal to 0 0.762 repeater, can be written as 254 over 333 as a fraction. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you guys found that helpful. In our next video, we're going to look at more examples of how to convert recurring decimals to fractions, in particular looking at examples where the repeating digits do not start directly after the decimal point. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.